welcome to SubCode and today we are looking into another couple of code uh, particularly in a singleton pattern so we want to look at what is a singleton design pattern and how to implement it in Spring Boot so let's get into the code I won't be doing the slides today so let's just get into it so a singleton design pattern essentially it allows us to only create um, a single instance of a class so what it does is it guarantees that in the JVM at any point in time that particular class will have a single instance so you cannot instantiate any other instance of that class uh, it could it can only have one instance and it can have a global access point from the JVM and let's see how we can get that uh, achieved through Spring Boot. So with Spring Boot, you would know that um, in traditional Java, what you would have is a private um, a private uh, co constructor for your uh, for your singleton class. So let's say for for example, let me just do this firstly for the category service. So a category service, you know that categories um, are lookups or we would want to have this lookup um, available uh, at any point in time within the application so that we can look up uh, the category for our to-do list. So we can do this and achieve it via a singleton class that we can use uh, that will provide us uh, with the lookup the lookups that we're looking for at at any point in time and we only use the singleton to get that data and not access it via the category service directly so how we can go about doing that is let's create a class here and i will call it category um let's say singleton service um or let me say lookup service actually look up service and this should be fine so now we have a lookup service here and we just annotate this with that service and that should be fine and now look at this just for me to make this class a single thing i just assign a scope to it and i say single thing I save that so now by just applying this annotation here in spring boot it already knows that now this class is a singleton and it will instantiate it in that way when the application starts and we can access um, this um, this singleton class anywhere across the application and be able to access the methods that we're looking for or the lookups that we're looking for at this level so what we are going to do here we're going to do dependence injection real quick <clears throat> and we are going to wire uh, the category repo because we want a category lookup here category repo is fine and then now look at this guys here's here's the magic again so we're going to say add post construct and we're going to say private, um, let's say void, and we say popu, populate um, lookup, and we just go in there. And now, we, because we say post construct, so after instantiating uh, the singleton for us, we want you to load the data for our lookups and be able to um, to call this um, on the fly without going back and visiting the database each time. So uh, at this level here, what we want to add here is basically a list and we're going to say this is a list of category just look here. Uh, 
sort this guy out quickly. Java dot util. So sort this guy quickly. Right, and that is sorted. Now let's sort. This is category, and we're gonna say category lookup. So that's fine. And now we're gonna say category lookup is going to be category repo dot find all. Boom. Now our lookup is populated. So how do we access this? So now we say public um, list category like here, and we say uh, retrieve category lookup list. So that should be enough and then we say return category lookup boom now we're done so i wanted to name it category lookup service here so that you can see that we can actually make uh, one dedicated one or in if you want to uh, load one and uh, have multiple um, lookups uh, you can also do that you can just plug in the day repository uh, for that particular lookup that you want and then create the list for that lookup and you just add it here so let's say maybe you're looking for um, departments lookup let's say maybe this is departments so you would add your departments in the same way at this level department lookup department reported find all then you'd have a function here for departments <coughs> To say uh, department um, lookup, then retrieve department, then here you return a department lookup uh, in that way. So by so doing, now you can access any sort of uh, a sub list or a parent list or a lookup uh, using one single team that goes to the DB once when it instantiates and retrieves the lookups that you need for your application and it's able to get those details for you and you can also use um, singleton for logging and um, other use cases that you would want because you just want a single instance that's going to do this job for you and when the ab application is up and it's ready you just uh, plug and play um, your lookup so now that we have this lookup what we want to do is to plug this guy into category service here. So at this level, I'm just gonna say auto wired. Um, let's plug in that category service lookup. So even though I add this as a dependence injection, Spring Boot is gonna ensure that there's only a single instance that's always running here. So when I call it there and I come uh, to where I retrieve category list at this level, I don't have to go directly to the DB here. What I can do now is call category lookup service and I can retrieve that and I can stream it. Uh, like that so I can retrieve the category list and stream it here and then uh, map it to our um, DTO mapper and collect it to a list and that is done. So uh, this guarantees that there's only one trip to the DB and it also speaks to the performance of your application and how you can make those improvements uh, instead of making each trip whenever we call this we go to the DB each time so that, that can be heavy at times. Uh, on your application, but with uh, the implementation of our singleton here, we at least guarantee that you only go to the DB once and, and once you have the details, uh, it should be populated there and you can use the lookup uh, across your application and that should be easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. So if we save this application now and run it, 
and we go to our controller to find a category um, is our controller is our controller here category and if we uh, go to category list we should still get the same list as we were getting uh, on the previous video uh, no scope restart for scope name singleton and just make sure that that is fine um, this should be that this is not that Let's see this in action UK application starting up All right looking good looking good boom so now the application is started let's just go and so you see um, on our previous video we this is where we ended so now let's run it we should get the same result here for our category list let's do that quickly boom so now that's that so we're getting the list but now we're minimizing uh the db um calls that we're making because when the when the singleton instantiates what it will do here is to load up the lookup uh the lookup uh on the fly and then uh, at this point we just um we just populate the list and we use it like that and also uh, of course, uh, you can do other um, uh, functionality here to maybe retrieve a particular category based on um, uh, based on the name that you pass in or a filter criteria and all of those. Uh, so you can add more methods here, but this will help at least minimize the DB um, um, transactions that you'll be having uh, for your uh, services as well so this one was short i just wanted to show you how you can achieve singleton um design pattern in in spring boot and uh see you on the next one please do like and subscribe cheers guys that's it for now